back now with three weeks and still plenty of frustration following Hurricane Matthew. Yeah, plenty of people are cleaning up. Others are out of their homes. And today, we're learning about more people who have to find a completely new place to stay. Turning your sides, Andy Fox has their story from Virginia Beach tonight. Andy. Yeah, guys, we are out here at Waterside at Lynn Haven, and we were out here when city code enforcers came out here and toured the property with property management. Now, we are told and we saw that they went door to door checking on the properties, finding out all the damage. Now, there were 38 occupied apartments out here that were damaged in the flooding waters. We are told tonight that the new property owners are cooperating with the city. For Kenneth Mercer, home is where the heart is, but his home doesn't feel much like one today. The money that I have for my furniture, now I'm having to pay all that to figure out places to stay, and then I'm not going to have no money to replace my furniture. Mercer's not alone. 38 occupied apartments damaged at Waterside at Lynn Haven. Nicole Harris forced to move too. Do you think yeah. they should pay for you to go to a hotel and to be in the hotel until they get your unit back. Absolutely. I mean, it's not my fault I have to move. I mean, of course, it's not theirs either. We asked property manager Gail Shaw, representing the new owners, Geller Associates, about that. We are working with the owner to get them back in their homes as soon as possible. Will you pay for them to stay in hotels until the work is done? That's something that I cannot answer. Are you all considering that? I, that's something I can't answer. In this letter, management tells residents to be out by 8 a.m. Monday and states repairs will be done in less than 15 days. They're not paying for our our hotel rooms anymore, so that comes out of pocket, so we have no choice but to come back to the apartment because we have nowhere to go. Our options are pretty much, we have none. Out of options because Mercer is out of money. The previous owners paid for residents to stay in a motel, but Mercer wishes more work to repair the apartment was done then. We've been in a hotel for eight days, but every day we come to the apartment to check on it, uh, nothing's, been, nothing's been done. Mercer is also upset that current management put statements on doors telling them who owes what. We asked Shaw about that. Can you tell us why notices were posted about how much people That's owe? That's our only comment at this point. I lost it all. So. And your car. And my car. And I have to turn my rental car in on Sunday. Here's the bottom line. 17 of the units out here are still occupied. When the city came out here, they were going door to door to see if they were safe to stay in. If they are, then the people can stay in there until Monday. If not, management said they would try to find them arrangements. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.